Hey, my name's Katina. I am one third founder of All Purpose. Hey, I'm Renee. I'm one third founder of All Purpose. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm one third of All Purpose. Well, me and Rachel actually went to uni together, yeah. all the way up in Lancaster, and um, we realised we were both from London, and then we was like, wow, <laughs> we must be friends, so we've been friends for a while, and Rachel and Bettina worked together here, mm. and then Rachel actually got me to work here, and then we all came together, and we just clicked, yeah. but that yeah. was the start of it, so we all really came together um, here at Rich Mix. Front of house. So we were in charge of like doing the event set up, um, making the popcorn, making the drinks, mm -hmm. sorting out the screens. Yeah, just little bits all around which makes really. All Purpose, um, like the name suggests, is a lot of things. Um, we want to do a lot of things with All Purpose, but I guess just like in a sentence or a word, it's All Purpose is all about creating events for the black community. Mm -hmm. Um, that centers around education and well-being um, and you know bringing in that intergenerational aspect into it as well um, so like I said all purpose is for all purpose <laughs> <laughs> um, so Simi is all about rest Simi is a series that centers around rest I think we just wanted something for our community just like a yeah. break um because things have been so intense with the pandemic and also i think it was like at the height of the black lives matter mm -hmm. protest um so we were all feeling the weight of <laughs> everything yeah mm -hmm. um so we just thought we we need a break we need some rest and the name actually comes from um a language called yoruba spoken in nigeria um, and I'm Yoruba and I kind of like pushed the agenda on these two and they were like, ah, oh, all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we are. <laughs> so the Simi series was a five part event series and uh, we started off with a cook along session um, with Tamario, who was our it was our guest cook and guest chef, should I say. Mm -hmm. um, and that was pretty amazing. <laughs> so yeah. We all really enjoyed that. And um, he basically cooked, um, what was the dish again? It was rice rundown. and peas. Yeah, yeah it was jackfruit, jackfruit rundown. Jackfruit rundown. Yeah. So rice and peas with jackfruit. Um, and it kind of was like a, I would call it a stew where I'm from, but yeah, it's kind it's of like, kind a, of like stew. a stew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a one pot pan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and that was really good as well. Um, that just helped people like reconnect with, um, reconnect with like taking care of themselves by cooking for themselves, like mm -hmm. some form of therapy. Mm -hmm. So our second event was a film screening with three amazing filmmakers, black filmmakers. So that involved Olivia, Olivia Frazier, who works at Rich Mix. Um, we had Jeremiah Toalawi, and then we also had Michael Jr. as well. And they were just amazing to oh, life. No, we had a Q and A with no, them no, as well. No. And they gave us such insightful um, advice and just how to get into like the industry. Mm -hmm. So our third event was um, a plant wellness workshop. Mm -hmm. And that was where we had a facilitator called Natalie Taylor. She was amazing at basically teaching us how to take care of our house plants, but also teaching us how to remember to take care of ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. So that just fitted in perfect with our, with our series. Our fourth event was um, a aromatherapy workshop. And that was with the wonderful Rabia Abdullah. And Rabia Abdullah is also connected to Rich Mix. So it's, it's kind of like everything was quite like inter intertwined. Yeah, cool, like about yeah, different smells and how they can help you connect with yourself and like the healing benefits of yeah. different essential oils and just like herbs as well around your house, which is interesting. Cause yeah. There's so many different scents around your home that like are really beneficial for you. Yeah. Um, so it was cool learning about that. I enjoyed that. Though. Yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. What was nice as well is that she um, got us to bring a bring something that was very um, pungent, I think the word yeah. is. So I bought dead flowers, which sounds <laughs> very morbid, but I, I love the smell of dead flowers. Uh -huh. You brought. I brought a candle. Yeah, um, it was a lavender and cedarwood candle, and I love the smell of it. Yeah, and it just makes me like calm. Um, just like my plant soil. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So everyone, and it was really nice because we could actually see people in that session. So like one person brought, I think it was either a mango or an apple. Mm -hmm. And then someone else had candle, uh, cedar wood as well. So it was just really nice to see how like everyone connected with that. Yeah. And then she also got us to like smell on our, um, in our hands and on our wrists yeah. as well. So that was really, really calming. And just, I feel like it helps everyone um, center themselves and it kind of made everyone that was watching online a little community because everyone was like talking mm. in the chat as well. Mm. Um, and then, so that was our fourth event. So our final event of the series was one we were really looking forward to. Yeah. Um, you best pronounce it. El <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> So um, that was, we put a lot of work into that. We put a lot of work into all of them, but mm -hmm. this last um, event was pretty amazing if I say it so myself. Yeah. We yeah. basically created a, a lovely set um, that we used at Rich Mix in the studio. Um, and we had like clouds and we just wanted to create something that was quite um, dreamlike mm -hmm. to end off the series. And we had uh, four amazing um, talented creatives that, want, that were, were very happy that they were um, able to get involved. We had Amir Brave, who is a singer-songwriter. We had 12 Sound, who is a producer. We had um, Sugar J Poet, who is a poet and performer as well. And then we had the lovely Diama, who also used to work here, but um, <laughs> her stage name is Basako. And she is a, I'm gonna get this right, a, a, a creator. A creator. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was just beautiful. I mean, it was, amazing. Mm. It was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to end that. <laughs> Well, we knew that we wanted it to be like healing and like wellness related. Um, so then we did some research into the five senses and how healing they could be. Um, so we looked into like sound and the healing benefits of that. Um, so sound therapy and how powerful that is and like realigning you. Um, and like through doing research, we just saw like how the five senses um, all connect to wellness. So like touch, just being able to center yourself. Um, like sight, what you see visually can definitely have an impact on you and like how you feel and put you in a different mind state. What's the other one? Taste. Yes, taste, like your taste buds. Um, making sure that you're eating good foods definitely plays so like a big part, right? Yeah. And it's so easy to have like a little cheeky, like <laughs> yeah. cheat day and like get thrown off of your diet. Um, but yeah, like it's important to know like, what you're putting in your body. And the last one is Smell. smell. Oh yes, and smell. Um, this is one that I feel like I learned the most that understanding how powerful smells are as well to like put you in a relaxing state and just like alter your mood. So yeah, doing research into the five senses really allowed us to kind of put on specific events that can overall create a healing program, which was which was nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question because I feel like <laughs> <laughs> we wanted it to be in person so badly yeah, at so first. Badly. Like <laughs> when we found out like that, you know, the pandemic was just getting extended and everything yeah. was just locked down. It was so disheartening for us, like mm -hmm. honestly. Um because we wanted to meet people, you know. Yeah. Like this when is our first program. Yeah. <laughs> soon though, soon, soon. This is our first program. We wanted to meet everybody in person and like just connect. And I feel like it's a different vibe when you meet people in person and just like feel different pieces exactly. of energy. Yeah. yeah. But saying that, um, the events went like super well. Like mm -hmm. I think so much better than like any of us expected. Um, they were amazing. And I feel like we really built a community online, which mm -hmm. was phenomenal. And yeah. we noticed that throughout the events, people came to like all of the events. So even though each event was specific for a different type of audience, people were really connecting and coming to like all of our events, which was so good. Yeah. And definitely now, considering that things have been online for so long, maybe over a year, we noticed that there's definitely a space online to create those like small communities and platforms that are consistent and bring people like healing and respite. Mm -hmm. So it was good, it was phenomenal. have been you know rich mix has been in my life for so long now <laughs> um i think i started working here like in 2018 maybe mm -hmm. um and to now be an associated artist um with two of my friends as well that it means a lot it means community it means family 
And I think when you're doing something like All Purpose that is all about community, having partners that value, you know, community and family is really important. So being an associated artist means I'm home. <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, being an associate artist to Rich Mix is pretty much what Rachel said. It does feel like family. And out of these guys, I've been working here the longest. So I started off as a as a visitor services assistant and then upgraded to supervisor. <laughs> um, and meeting these girls here and then knowing how, especially the front of house team are, it does always feel like family. Mm -hmm. So when we come here, like it's it's hard not to like do the things that we usually do like maybe just, I don't know, put some water bottles on like the counter or something, mm -hmm. because it does feel like home. Like we're, exactly. we're very used to Rich Mix and being able to have their support on um, like our project and our plan with all the purpose has just been amazing, it's really helpful. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Go first. Go first. I feel like you said, there are literally like so many. But I think my favorite moment was literally when you guys rocked up like in Bettina's car with the clouds. They literally spent all night, like literally well into the AMs, created these clouds. And they came out with it and it was just so fluffy and so beautiful. I was just like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was my favorite moment. So that was definitely a highlight, like us yeah. in Bettina's living room. Oh my God. Like, that was like a midnight one a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, trying to put together these clouds with like a hot glue gun and <laughs> newspaper on the floor. So, yeah, those little things. Like, those yeah. are the things that really just make you reflect. And it's always about the journey. Like, it is always. It is. Um, yeah, but I would say I'll cook along. And that was one of my favorite moments because that was our first event and i was thinking oh like our first online event who's gonna come <laughs> like, and then seeing how the setup looked and hearing mm. the feedback i felt like my, i felt like i was gonna cry honestly my heart yeah. was so warm mm. that knowing that we had like tried to put on a program it didn't really go to plan and we had to put it online and then it worked well when we got phenomenal feedback mm. yeah. i just felt like proud that was at like, the moment when i was like we did this guys we really yeah. put it on we brought this together and for it to be at Rich Mix as well mm. is amazing because we really came full circle and yeah. the team has been so supportive. So it kind of feels surreal. Um, mm. But yeah, it's one of the moments for me. Yeah, I think for me, I have like lots of little moments. Mm. So like I enjoy the process of anything. Like that's my, like one of the best bits for me. The yeah. process and then I do like indulging in like the outcome. But for me, when there was like one moment in the last um, event that like we did a, um, everyone was singing. So we got all the artists to do a, um, what's that word? Collaborative a collaboration. A collaborative, uh, a collaborative <laughs> performance. Mm. Yeah. And I could have cried, like it sounded amazing. So we basically got the artists to, who had never met before just to go on stage and just create something organic. Mm. And they, at the end of it, there was a moment where they all looked at each other and smiled. Yeah. And I could have melted <laughs> just then and there. And that was, that was mm. beautiful to see mm. that we created that. And we also helped them to like, create a new little network of people that can also now can like talk to each other and maybe collaborate in the future. But also, sorry, another good um, like kind of rewarding point for me was um, like getting a lot of DMs mm -hmm. and the, like just hearing people saying thank you. That just, the most rewarding. that's just, yeah, yeah, that just warms my heart. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Yes. <laughs> we have to, There's more we to come to. from that purpose. To. <laughs> Especially mm -hmm. like like you Renee was saying before, it would be a mixture between online, now we know that we can do it, mm -hmm. and in person. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to do in person events, like we're actually so excited. But there is this is just just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. Just the beginning. <laughs> like we've got literally so much going on, so much we want to work on and yeah. like develop. Mm -hmm. Um, that, yeah, honestly, you just have to keep up with us because right. there was a lot, there was a lot yeah. to come. Yeah. We have so much and we really want to just extend our programs across like all topics so everybody in the black community is welcome. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what your interests are, mm -hmm. we're definitely going to put on an event that you feel comfortable at and yeah. excited for. So yeah, an array of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get the next stuff in the pipelines. Yeah. <laughs> but in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube. Yes. <laughs>
know that people always say that anything is possible, um, but I honestly believe that. And I hope that we can kind of be an example of that. Um, just knowing that there's spaces out there that can help you. Um, I would definitely say anything that you can think of can manifest. So taking little practical action points to try and get your project or idea off the ground, it will definitely pay off. And yeah. I honestly, in my heart, believe that anybody can do anything. So make sure you get your ideas out there. But people are so much nicer than you think, especially in creative industry. So I definitely say reach out to people and try and wrap their brains of how they got into the industry. Um, meeting up for coffees with people can be so beneficial. Yeah. But I think mainly knowing that you can do it and believing in yourself is so important. So self-confidence is something that definitely is important when you're trying to get into these spaces. And I know it's hard, especially being a black woman or just black in creative spaces where we're marginalized and there's so many barriers. But there's so many people out there that are trying to create spaces so we can all win. And so yeah, believe in yourself is the main thing that I would say, because once you get through that hurdle, the world is honestly your oyster. And yeah, yeah I want to see everybody win. Mm. At All Purpose London, All Purpose LDN. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Okay.